Om Swastiastu. Hi everybody, my name is Jokorda Isrima Sintia Sagita. I'm from Junior High School, number one, Labato. And today, I'm going to tell you the story of Rapunzel. Once upon a time, lived a man and his wife, who were very unhappy because they had no children. They had a little window at the back of their house, which looked into the most lovely garden, full of beautiful flowers and vegetables. But the garden was surrounded by a high wall and no one dared to enter it because it belonged to a witch with great power and feared by the whole world. One day, the woman stood at the window overlooking the garden. Then she saw a bed full of finest rampion and she wanted to eat them. The desire grew day by day and she knew she couldn't possibly get any. So she pinned away and became quite pale and wretched. Then her husband grew alarmed and said, What ails you, dear wife? Oh, she answered, If I don't get some rampion to eat out of the garden behind the house, I know I shall die. So at dusk, he climbed over the wall into the witch garden and hastily gathering a handful of rampion leaves. Then she made them into a salad which tasted so good that she wanted some more. So, her husband climbed over the wall into the witch garden again. But when he reached the other side of the wall, he drew back in terror. For there, standing for him, was the old witch. How dare you! She said with a wrathful glance. Climb into my garden and steal my rampion like a common thief? You shall suffer from your foolhardiness. Oh, he implored. Pardon my presumption. Necessity alone drove me to the deed. My wife saw your rampion from her window and conceived such a desire for it that she would die if a wish had not been gratified. The witch anger is a little piece, then she said. If it's as you say, you may take as much as rampion away with you as you like. But on one condition only, that you will give me the child your wife shortly bring into the world. I shall go away with it, and I will look after it like a mother. The man in his terror agreed to everything she asked. And as soon as the child was born, the witch took the baby off with her and named her Rapunzel. Rapunzel was the most beautiful baby under the sun. When she was 12 years old, the witch shut her up in a tower in the middle of the great wood. The tower had neither stairs nor doors, only a small window at the top of the tower. When the witch wanted to get in, she stood underneath and called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Rapunzel had wonderful long hair and it was as fine as spun gold. Whenever she heard the witch voice, she would let her hair fall down out of the window about 20 yards below. Then the witch will climb up by it. After they lived like this for a few years, it happened one day when the prince was riding through the wood. And he heard someone singing so sweetly that he came back every single day to the wood and listened. It was Rapunzel in her loneliness, trying to wall away the time by letting his sweet voice ring out into the wood. One day, when the prince was standing behind a tree, he saw the old witch approach and heard her called out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Then the old witch climbed up by it. So that's the staircase, is it? Said the prince. Then I too will climb up by it and try my luck. So on the following day at dusk, he went to the foot of the tower and said, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. As soon as Rapunzel let her hair fall down, the prince climbed up by it. Rapunzel was terribly frightened when the man came in because she had never seen one before. But Rapunzel forgot her fear when the prince told her that his heart had been so touched by her singing. So when the prince asked her to marry him, she consented at once. Well, he's young and handsome and I'll certainly be happier with him. So she put her hand in his and said, Yes, I will gladly go with you, but how am I supposed to get down out of the tower? I have an idea, 
Every time you come to see me, you must bring a skein of silk with you, and I will make a ladder out of it. When the ladder is ready, you will take me away with your horse. They arranged that till the ladder was ready. The old witch, of course, knew nothing about their plan, till one day Rapunzel wasn't thinking of what she was about. She turned to the witch and said, How is it, good mother, that you are so much harder to pull out than the young prince? He is always with me in a moment. Oh, you wicked child! cried the witch. I thought I have hidden you safely from the whole world. And in spite, you have managed to deceive me? Then she cut Rapunzel's beautiful hair and took her to a lonely desert place. On the evening of the day, she fastened Rapunzel's hair onto a hook in the window. And when the prince called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. The prince climbed up as usual, but instead of seeing beloved Rapunzel, he saw the old witch cried mockingly. <laughs> you thought to find your lady love? Oh, but the pretty bird has flown away and its song is dumb. Rapunzel is lost here forever and you will never see her anymore. The prince then jumped right down from the tower and he went blind because of it. Then he wandered and wandered for some years, blind and miserable, eating nothing but roots and berries. One day, when the prince came to a desert place, he heard a voice which seems strangely familiar to him. As he drew near it, Rapunzel recognizes him and cried on his neck. And two of her tears touched the prince's eyes, and he could saw as well as he ever done. Then they went to his kingdom, where they received welcome and great joy. Then they lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much for watching. Om Santi 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 Om.